Weapons of Mass Destruction and Strategy University of Georgia by the Secretary of Defense, William Cohen. I remember reading this on air out of the Army Times when it came out. Others are engaging even in an eco type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate, set off earthquakes, volcanoes, remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. That is the, and you can click on the sightening there, uh, three, that's Army Times. You can see where it's cited uh, there. Federation of American Scientists addressed by U.S. Secretary of State is that source. But uh, I, I read it directly out of the Army Times uh, when uh, I saw it. Uh, there's a devastating tsunami bomb uh, that was in the New Zealand Herald uh, that the U.S. tested. And uh, Live Science reported on the tectonic weapon to hit Haiti. Uh, the thing is, see, when you're informed, this stuff's all admitted. But then the general public still doesn't know that spider guns have been around for 20 years. Or that you can buy a glow-in-the-dark dog for $4,000 from China 15 years ago. I could have a glow-in-the-dark rhesus monkey for $15,000 last time I saw the price that I could buy out of New York that was brought in from Hong Kong. I could have in studio a glowing monkey that's part jellyfish. And the general public just is still thinking they're living in Kansas, and you're not, folks. You're not in Kansas anymore. And this is the stuff we know about. Stan Deo is our guest. We're going to go right back to him in a moment. I want to get his take on that and more on where we're going, what the big threats are, and then geopolitically, and talk about the work he's doing over at standeo.com. But first off, uh, just don't forget, we are listener-supported. We we're not taxpayer-funded with stimulus money like MSNBC or $400, $500 million a year, depending on the year, like uh, NPR. We're funded by the high-quality products we sell. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filters out there. People are insane if they're not getting the glyphosates. It's even in the table water. It's, it's not just in tap water. It's in the, most of the well water, 97% the feds estimate. Um, the sodium fluoride, it cuts it all out. It's the best filtration system out there. 10% off on all their units with promo code WATER. They've, we've never been authorized to have a deal like this. On their Pro Pure Traveler, 25% off the already lowest price out there. $153, normally $205. No one has anything like this. The filters are, uh, of a leading competitor are $100 and don't even do what this does. Okay, they're extremely competitive. We have the best deals on ProPure 2.0 systems, all of it. Infowarsstore.com. Take advantage, 25% off. And it's going to run until they sell out uh, and a new shipment's coming in. So this will probably only run about a week. 25% off. I haven't plugged it yet. It'll probably sell out in one day. Uh, they've got a certain amount in the warehouse. I don't even know why they're offering this. But they have a big shipment coming in. Uh, but there's no point. It would sell out in a month anyways. The point, we already have the lowest price. This is this is a great deal, and it helps fund our operation. And the pro-pure manufacturers here in the U.S. are such patriots and such listeners that they're not even cutting into our profit on this special. Usually we have to agree on these. I have a contract on what I can give you. It's already caused disputes with other distributors that I give 10% off just perpetually. People really go crazy on offer 15. They're now giving us authorization without us asking 25% on the Traveler, which is a big system, but, you know, it'll fit in your RV or whatever. It's not like the bigger uh, Nomads and uh, the Pro Pure Big and the Pro Pure King. They've got the pitchers. They're the best deal out there. Infowarsstore.com and your purchase makes the whole broadcast possible. InfoWarsLife.com takes you right to the subsection of InfoWarsStore.com where you find the Survival Shield nascent iodine. No one has it. No one has a system like this. It is the best iodine out there. If it can be improved, we will. We're working on that. That'll be announced the next month or two. Uh, we're always innovating. We've got the Super Mel Vitality 15% off. Uh, that we're going to be getting rid of that special soon. Your purchase makes it all possible. You can always call toll free for any of the products, 888-253-3139. And we fund our media operation the old-fashioned way, not with state-run media money, but with sponsorship and products we sell. We're here to have the name long-term that proves itself reliable. We're here to be knights in the fight against evil. We're here to sell you what we'd want to be sold. We're here to treat you like you'd want to be treated. And you know what? It's working. We, we now can put an article out every week, Drudge and others are able to pick it up, magnify it. Drudge, the number one news site in the world, forces out the ranch story, forces out the bullet story, forces out the superbug story, and then the, the whore media all picks it up. We now are at the center of destroying the establishment dinosaur forever. 
And, I mean, look at these headlines. Holder snaps. Cruz, Holder should be impeached for defying Congress and the rule of law. Other congressmen call him a criminal, say he should be in jail. Employees at Dallas IRS off uh, war pro Obama stickers, buttons, and T-shirts as a jihad brigade. 44% Twitter accounts. Uh, I've never seen Twitter. That's an interesting story. You've got uh, Boner, a Boehner coming out saying there's a criminal cover-up. Uh, you've got uh, Senator Sessions saying th there's a criminal collapse of America going on. It's all happening. Stan Dale, I'm ranting. I want you to get into real threats back in the super volcano, but you've talked a lot about this and, 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 and this criminal system. Most people, as you know, in government, in corporations are not bad. They love their kids, too. But tyranny always has this leg up that people can't believe it's happening in their time. And so it gets a jump on people during the headlights. I think the sleeping giant is starting to wake up. I'm concerned the power structure may stage false flags as a pretext to try to get our confidence again or a war. But I don't even think that's going to work. Where do you think, as a really guy that's tuned in, uh, where do you think we are historically? Uh, and then I want to get back into the super volcano and Cohen's quote. Well, at the moment, politically, I think the United States is in serious, serious trouble of uh, breaking out into open anarchy. This deal with Clive and Bundy is uh, kind of the, the tip of the spear. Uh, a number of, uh, you know, people that see visions and, and uh, biblical scholars have said that the United States doesn't have a position in the final world government. And I think that's probably because the United States as a political entity will be destroyed from within and perhaps a little help from outside from the Chinese and the Russians. The the latest thing that uh, I saw this morning on, on the web page that uh, Holly prepares for us, the, the news page, uh, she found an article uh, talking about Obama's administration trying to get rid of the Electoral College, the Electoral College and go to a popular vote which would, in essence, absolutely just turn control over to this administration, do anything they want. Uh, well, that's what the illegals are for. Absolutely. To vote, yeah. Absolutely. Everybody that's getting a handout and depending on it from the government will vote, keep the government there. And these are not always the most uh, wise people to, to have that vote. Anyway, I mean, it, it certainly disadvantages those of here, uh, those of us in the western states who have smaller populations, but did have... You're dead meat. You're dead meat. The welfare yep. crowd, the corporate people will literally vote to put you in slave wagons. I mean, I mean, if you're in a democracy, it's two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. There's, there's two things. If the government wants to take us over with martial law and that kind of stuff, they can do it if we don't resist. If we do resist, then they can do it with a, a vengeance because they'll be defending themselves. So either way, we're headed for an enslavement which will bring chaos into the country because there will be a number of us uh, that will resist that. And you, Hitler proved you can't force people to accept you know, a, a tyrannical order. They will uh, have underground movements and, and uh, like the French resistance, they'll destroy that order. So we are looking at a time of chaos approaching right now. And with the weakening of the U.S. stock market and the U.S. dollar, I mean, rapidly, we could see an economic collapse of the dollar and hence the rest of the world following suit and rearranging their dependence and the way they write contracts and what kind of currency. To me, this means that we are holding our breath this year. We're going to see a very destabilized U.S. this year, in my opinion. Simply incredible. And, and that's what a lot of the experts are saying, and we're already seeing the stock market today going wild. Uh, and, and the lies coming out of Obama and, and Holder saying no attorney general's ever gotten in trouble when a bunch of them have gone to prison. The last one, John N. Mitchell, uh, for 19 months, died in prison for doing mild stuff compared to what uh, Holder's doing. I'm concerned about a false flag. Well, that would be certainly on the cards. Uh, with the false flag, it would enable them to put troops everywhere, put martial law and uh, put curfews out and limit what you can take out of the bank. Uh, you know, uh, all those kind of uh, draconian measures can be justified in a time of crisis, especially uh, an alleged terrorist attack uh, on one or more U.S. cities, uh, cities and targets. Like You know, I'm more and more, I, I agree with you, I'm, I'm more and more just asked, do I evacuate the U.S.? But it's a world government. There's nowhere to run. But at the same time, I see people waking up so fast. And I have hope that people in the power structure don't really want to get rid of their own checks and balances so a tiny elite can run things. I mean, it's so bad to do what we're doing for 99.9999999% of people. Historically, a tyranny will even destroy emperors. I mean, uh, it's just a tyranny stinks. Why would the elite want to bring this in? 
I think at the moment that the United States is a, um, a pain in the backside of the New World Order. A lot of the elitists are not in the United States That's or right. elsewhere, as you know. And they need to, to take us out as a military power, uh, whether we would do what they want or not. They need to weaken us to the point that they won't, uh, the United States won't interfere with Middle East operations and operations in Australia and various other countries that the elitists want to do. They want to take us down to remove us as a threat. Russia and China know that we could probably, our military guys could probably break with the Pentagon, or with the White House anyway, and um, make counterattacks in event of a nuclear war starting. So they have to, to neutralize our military and our will to fight. That's why they're shutting the power plants down, the beef production, the manufacturing, everything's being cut right now. It, it, is, it is a military operation against us. Yes, absolutely. And when they hit the Internet and our phones and uh, credit cards and things like that with uh, various worms and trojans. It's the mega banks like working with all these other crime syndicates. You can really see it. They want this country totally gutted. Yep. And when Holly and I were guests of the Hopi uh, Indians uh, at the Shingopi tribe, Second Mesa, their prophecy keepers told us that America will have a multifaceted,